Hebrew word for second didn't exist until the 20th century. I'm Elon I write about Hebrew and Jewish history. In ancient Hebrew, time was measured broadly, morning, noon, and night. This changed during the Babylonian exile when Jews adopted the 12-hour system along with Aramaic word sha'ata, which became our modern sha'a for hour. In the Talmud, the hour was not broken up into 60 minutes, but rather into 1,080 chalakim, parts. The division into 60 parts came from medieval astronomy, where the full circle of the sky was divided into 24 hours, each hour into 60 minutes, and each minute into 60 seconds. Rabbi Avraham ibn Ezra, writing in the 12th century, used dakim, meaning small or thin, based on the Arabic dakika for these astronomical minutes, and shni'im, secondary parts, for seconds. But these terms remained strictly astronomical for centuries. The Industrial Revolution brought mechanical clocks and a faster pace of life, requiring everyday words for these smaller time units. Daka, for a minute, was an easy adaption from the astronomical duck, but seconds posed a greater challenge. Various terms competed, including chelek and rega, but ultimately shnia, derived from the astronomical shni, became standard Hebrew in the early 1900s. As for clock, Medieval Hebrew used cumbersome terms like kli hasha'ot, time instrument, more sha'ot, hour indicator, and even ologin, from the Greek horologion. Only around 1900 did Rabbi Michiel Michel Pines in Jerusalem create the elegant sha'on, derived from sha'a with the suffix on. This compact new word arrived just in time for the wristwatch revolution following the First World War completing Hebrew's modern time-telling vocabulary. Now you know.